Good afternoon, this is Mike with Compass Heating and Air. Uh, we uh, came back out today to do some settings, uh, additional settings with regard to commissioning the VRV system. Uh, this house is all electric and uh, we took out a uh, 25 kilowatt system, uh, resistive heating, put in a Daikin VRV uh, live heat pump with an air handler and uh, we are at 10 kW. 10 kilowatts of uh, backup heating. Uh, it shouldn't be too uh, necessary very often, but uh, it is available should we have any of our really cold snaps that we get on occasion every couple years. Uh, last night when uh, they ran it, we got down to uh, two degrees Fahrenheit and uh, the uh, house recovered very well after the installation and and was up to the customer's set point this morning and they were very happy. We didn't have everything set up for the electric heat that was done today um, and uh, we can move forward from there. And come up here and kind of show you the setup. The Daikin 1 thermostats are now able to be controlled with our VRV systems. We're able to use the Daikin 1s now. So we'll see here we have it set 65. Let's take it up a little bit so we can get the uh, unit outside running as well. The uh, VRV system. We want to take a look real quick, but this is your Daikin One thermostat, and it's pretty exciting to be able to use it now with uh, ductless as well. But uh, in this case we're using with a VRV. Very exciting to get away from the uh, VRC controllers that typically would see on uh, commercial applications. All right. Head over to the outdoor unit here. Finished up yesterday. The, we got down to two degrees last night. Uh, we again didn't have the electric heat picked up just yet. Uh, this is your VRV system, uh, the outdoor portion of it. With a heat pump, you're just transferring heat from outside in. As long as your uh, refrigerant temperature is Older than the outdoor, we do have heat transfer. So even though everyone asks, you know, how do you transfer heat when it's cold outside? That's just us. As people, feel cold, but there is still heat out here, and so we're maintaining the temperature in this house here. So it does run a little bit higher on the fan speed when you're in the winter time. Uh, summer, you guys, uh, when they're air conditioning, you barely tell if at all that they're even running. I'm probably seeing some of our other videos. There's a little uh, accumulator box to the side or behind. Uh, that's when we're using stuff like a, when we're using a gas furnace, essentially, combined with other items uh, like ductless, like I have at my own home. You do have to have that accumulator there for any extra refrigerant, depending on what's running and somewhere for the refrigerant to go if it's not all calling. Uh, this guy here, uh, they do go down to 14% of their capacity on the VRV. So this one here operates actually uh, just under 6,000 BTUs at its lowest point. So it just wants to maintain the temperature and does it at a very, very uh, energy, energy conscious uh, setting. And uh, it'll be really good in this home. Going from an all resistive electric heating to a low ambient heat pump is gonna be a pretty significant difference on their overall heating costs. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, give us a call. Some Hank with Compass Heating and Air in East Dundee, Illinois. Have a great afternoon.